The automotive industry is on the verge of a seismic shift. Hello, it's Car Care Center here. A new player, Scythe Kaivi, is set to disrupt the market. Their innovation, a car that never needs charging. The Scythe Kaivi is not just an electric vehicle. It's a self-powered revolution on wheels. For decades, we've relied on gasoline. It pollutes our planet and locks us into a cycle of dependence. Electric vehicles offered a glimmer of hope, but they came with their own limitations. Range, anxiety, and the need for charging infrastructure have hampered their widespread adoption. The Saith Kaivi transcends these limitations. It ushers in an era of true automotive freedom. Imagine a world where you never have to stop at a gas station again. No more searching for charging stations. The open road beckons and the Scythe Kaivi answers the call. This is not science fiction. This is the future of transportation and it's here today. Range anxiety is the nagging worry that your electric vehicle will run out of power before you reach your destination. It's a real concern for many EV owners limiting their travel options and causing undue stress. The Scythe Kaivi eliminates this anxiety entirely. With the Scythe Kaivi, you are not tethered to a charging station. You are free to explore, to roam, to embrace the open road without hesitation. Imagine taking a cross-country road trip without having to meticulously plan your route around charging stops. The Scythe Kaivi makes this dream a reality. This newfound freedom is not just about convenience, it's about peace of mind. It's about knowing that you can rely on your vehicle to get you where you need to go, no matter how far or how remote the journey. The Saith Kaivi empowers you to explore the world without limits. The days of range anxiety are over. The future of driving is here, and it's powered by Saith Kaivi. Gasoline-powered cars have served us for over a century, but their time has come to an end. They are inefficient, polluting, and contribute significantly to climate change. We can no longer afford to rely on this outdated technology. Electric vehicles offered a cleaner alternative, but they are not without their drawbacks. Batteries, while constantly improving, still have limited range. The need for charging infrastructure adds another layer of complexity and cost to EV ownership. The Scythe Kaivi sidesteps these issues entirely. It doesn't rely on fossil fuels or bulky batteries with limited capacity. Instead, it harnesses the power of the environment, making it a truly sustainable and future-proof mode of transportation. The Scythe Kaivi is not just an improvement on existing technology, it's a paradigm shift in automotive engineering. It paves the way for a cleaner, more sustainable future for generations to come. The secret to the Scythe Kaivi's self-powering capability lies in its revolutionary Triple Harvest Energy Matrix trademark. This ingenious system seamlessly integrates three cutting-edge technologies, solar skin, kinetic dynamo, and wind turbine integration. The Triple Harvest Energy Matrix trademark constantly captures and converts energy from the environment, ensuring the South Kaivi always has power. It's a symphony of sustainable engineering working tirelessly to keep you moving. This groundbreaking technology sets the South Kaivi apart from any other vehicle on the market. It signifies a departure from traditional automotive design, embracing a holistic approach to energy generation and consumption. The future of driving is not just electric it's self-powered thanks to the ingenuity of the triple harvest energy matrix trademark in the late 1990s making a radio transmitter digital navigator turbine engine using scrap metal and in 2009 he began his journey into green energy here he may explain it to the president, Comrade Emerson Dabuz of Nagagua at State House. No fuel, nothing. Nothing, no fuel. First in the world. The first in the world. This is power from the sky. Yeah, from the radio frequency. This will be a radio in Zimbabwe. Yes, we have done it in Zimbabwe. Yeah. So the vehicle it is bought with what we call a microsonic energy device. That is the after our own school. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnesses radio frequencies, converted it into energy. 
as you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing, but we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation or for the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I've tailor-made, which I've designed. So those are the components that, mark, that, that enable the, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy. And this is the first time in the world. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. Top speed is 220 kilometers per hour. Yeah which is fast, it has got two driving modes. We have got the sport mode, which will give you zero to 100 kilometers per hour in around two seconds. Chukumbuzo also talks about his journey to Silicon Valley in the United States of America, where he was poisoned together with his partner, who passed on for defying the laws of physics. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Uh, so I was always in Zimbabwe and United States of America until he heard about myself. Then he invited the he, president. He, the president, yes. Then he invited me to, 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 to come back and put my base in Zimbabwe. So right now I'm based in Zimbabwe. President Munangagwa says he called him back home to do his work here in Zimbabwe and is happy to grace the occasion when the vehicles are launched. Is there any other vehicle you want? Uh, with this technology, you know, this is the first vehicle in the world. Where is it? Here yeah, in Zimbabwe. This is my only vehicle. It's more than 3 million. It's there. I said, you can eat it 3 million. <laughs> Come here, eat something. <laughs> but he's, he's more educated than engineers. With his yeah, yeah, yeah. All this is from the time he began doing these things, I've been supporting Yes. Throughout. Yeah, he was making television at my house, and they can have a television, and there's no wire. We can listen to all stations which we want on tarmac. This is this what you call it? Drones. Um, drone. Yeah. So this is what you make a drone. So you made one. This is about two years ago. Yes, yes. You made a drone. You can make a drone from here. Just put up wires together and put something around it. You can fly to Cape Town and call it back. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There's no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world and it is here in Zimbabwe by this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. But when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some, I think they hold the wires. <laughs> it, but I now know that it's well connected, well connected. To the layman, these two vehicles which were brought to State House in a motorcycle use radio frequencies that powers these vehicles. No electricity, no liquid fuels, and they are silent when traveling, clocking a speed of up to over 220 kilometers per hour, and have all the trappings of modern vehicles. The current vehicles were assembled in China using Chikumbuzo's powertrain of radio frequencies. If it fully produced, the vehicles could cut Zimbabwe's fuel import, and Sungulani suspects that the oil and vehicle manufacturers in the United States could have had a hand in his poisoning. Soon Zimbabwe will launch to the world what her young minds can do for the country and humanity, said the president. Ruben Barwez, ZBC News, status. Section five, solar skin power from the sun. Imagine a car that can harness the sun's energy to power itself. The Scythe Kaivi makes this a reality with its innovative solar skin technology. 
The car's exterior is coated with a layer of highly efficient solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity. These panels are not just aesthetically integrated into the car's design, they are engineered to maximize energy capture. Even on cloudy days, the solar skin continues to generate power, ensuring a constant trickle of energy to the vehicle's systems. The solar skin is a testament to Scythe Kaivi's commitment to sustainability. It's a tangible example of how the company is leveraging cutting-edge technology to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and create a cleaner future. With each passing mile, the Scythe Kaivi silently and sustainably generates power, turning the very roads we drive on into a source of renewable energy. Section 6 Kinetic Dynamo Harnessing the Energy of Motion The Saith Kaivi doesn't just rely on the sun for power, it also harnesses the energy of its own motion. The Kinetic Dynamo system captures energy generated during braking and converts it into usable electricity. This regenerative braking technology is highly efficient, capturing energy that would otherwise be lost as heat. The Kinetic Dynamo seamlessly integrates with the car's braking system ensuring a smooth and responsive driving experience. The Kinetic Dynamo is a prime example of Scythe Kaivi's commitment to maximizing efficiency by capturing and reusing energy that would otherwise be wasted. The company is pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering and setting new standards for sustainability. Every time you brake, the Scythe Kaivi is replenishing its energy reserves turning a routine driving action into an opportunity for energy generation. Section 7. Wind Turbine Integration Catching the Breeze Completing the Triple Harvest Energy Matrix trademark is the ingenious wind turbine integration system. This system utilizes retractable wind turbines that deploy at higher speeds, capturing the kinetic energy of the wind to generate additional power. These turbines are seamlessly integrated into the car's design, deploying only when wind conditions are optimal for energy generation. Once deployed, they work in harmony with the solar skin and kinetic dynamo, further enhancing the Saith Kaivi's self-powering capabilities. The wind turbine integration system is a testament to Saith Kaivi's innovative spirit. By harnessing a source of energy often overlooked in the automotive industry, the company is demonstrating its commitment to exploring every avenue of sustainable transportation. The Scythe Kaivi doesn't just drive, it glides, capturing the power of the wind to propel itself forward and redefine the very notion of what a car can be. Section 8, Saith Kaivi, Driving into the Future. The Saith Kaivi is not just a car, it's a statement. It's a statement about sustainability, innovation, and the future of transportation. It challenges the status quo, offering a glimpse into a world where driving is no longer dependent on fossil fuels or limited by charging infrastructure. The Saith Kaivi is a call to action. It's a call for drivers to embrace a cleaner, more sustainable future. It's a call for the automotive industry to follow suit, to innovate, and to strive for a future where transportation is no longer a burden on our planet. The road ahead is clear. The Saith Kaivi is leading the charge, and it's time for the world to get on board. This is not just about driving a car, it's about driving change. It's about embracing a future where the open road is truly open to all, powered by the sun, the wind, and the very act of driving itself. The future of driving is here. It's time to embrace the Saith Kaivi and drive into a brighter, more sustainable tomorrow.